Welcome to the GEMS Chemistry Wet Lab, courtesy of the Edgerton Center at MIT. This video is meant to guide you through the steps of the wet lab. It can be used by the teacher to prepare for the lab, or can be shown to the students during the course of the lab to help lead them through the steps. Let's begin. In these experiments, you will combine various solids and liquids, determine if there is a chemical reaction, and describe the changes that happen during the reaction. First, assemble all your materials. Baking soda, calcium chloride, phenol red, and water are your reactants. You will also need spoons, plastic bags, a tray, and gloves and goggles for each person. And don't forget your worksheet. Put on your gloves and goggles. Over the tray, open a bag and put in one spoonful of baking soda and two spoonfuls of calcium chloride. Then, put a closed tube of phenol red in the bag and remove the top while it is still pointed upwards. While one partner holds the bag and the tube, the other partner seals the bag tightly. Make sure to check the seal very carefully. Then turn the bag over to spill out the phenol red and upright again to mix it with the solids. You'll notice that the mixture turns a yellow color, foams, and starts fizzing and producing gas. The contents of the bag will also get hot, so be careful. After a minute or two, you should release the gas in the bag so it doesn't pop the bag open. Your teacher can light a match and hold it inside the bag when you open it to determine what gas is produced. If it is oxygen, the flame will burn brighter. If it is carbon dioxide, the flame will go out. If it is hydrogen gas, you will hear a popping sound. Now it's your turn to experiment with different chemical reactions. You have two experiments to try and figure out what causes the heat, the color change, and the gas you observed during the initial reaction. You can mix any combination of baking soda, calcium chloride, phenol red, and water. Now we'll show the reactions that happen with the different mixtures. Calcium chloride and phenol red. magenta and heat is produced. Baking soda and phenol red. Turns magenta and feels cool to the touch. calcium chloride and water. Heat is produced. Baking soda, calcium chloride, phenol red and water. turns yellow and gas and heat are produced.
baking soda, phenol red, and water. Turns magenta. Baking soda and water. Feels cool to the touch. Baking soda, calcium chloride, and water. Heat and gas are produced. When you are done with the reactions, take your tray with all your bags over to the sink. Remove all the tubes and wash them out, then throw the bags away. Take off your gloves by turning them inside out, then throw them away and put your goggles back where you found them. Make sure you wash your hands before leaving the classroom. This concludes the GEMS Chemistry Wet Lab. For teachers' eyes only. For safety purposes, we wanted to show you what would happen if the bag isn't open to release the gas. Exciting, but messy. We found this was only possible if we combined about two to three times the amount of reactants specified, so you shouldn't have problems with this happening in your classroom. However, you should remember to tell students to open their bags if too much gas starts being produced.